What has already happened is a, a brazen act of aggression in violation of international law, in violation of the UN Charter, in violation of the Helsinki Final Act, in violation of the 1997 Ukraine-Russia basing agreement. Russia has uh, engaged in uh, a military act of aggression against another country. The president is currently considering all options. They're all on the table. Uh, we would call on Congress immediately to the degree that they are uh, prepared to be helpful, that they immediately uh, lay down with us uh, an economic package in order to assist Ukraine. Uh, we think it's very important for uh, uh, the international entities, the OSCE, the UN, uh, NATO, the North Atlantic Council, uh, the EU uh, Foreign Affairs Council, which will meet tomorrow, all need to weigh in, and I believe they will weigh in heavily. This is not, or should not be, East-West, Russia, United States, Russia versus Europe. This is about the people of Ukraine. People who stood up against snipers firing at them from the roofs, who are fighting against the tyranny of having political opposition put in jail. And, and, and President Putin, I think, needs to think carefully about Russia's real interests here. You know, Russia may be able to invade Crimea, uh, but in the end, Russia will isolate itself. There will be cost to the economy of Russia, cost to Russian businesses, cost to Russian individuals, and ultimately, I think Russia will isolate itself on a global stage that it just spent $60 billion through the Olympics to try to present a different face on.